Welcome to our tutorial on three-layer maps. As the name implies, the three-layer maps tool allows the user to overlay up to three data layers. It works similar to the maps page, as it will visualize data on a map, but at the basic level, three-layer maps will show you places that meet the exact range of one or up to three data layers. We always suggest coming to the tool with a question which uses data to find places. You can see a variety of example of questions in each data category in the quick three-layer maps section. So let's say we're moving to a new city and we want to find a place to live. To start, we'll use a zoom bar to search for a specific location. We'll go to Philadelphia. Three-layer maps can be used at a national or even regional scale, but it's best used at a local level. So we'll add our first data layer. Let's find affordable homes so we'll go to housing, add home sales, and then quarterly home sale prices. The map will be completely purple, which shows 100% of the range of data. But we'll use the legend to customize what we're looking to see. We'll first change the number of homes sold to the median price of homes sold. Again, now the range shows 100% of home prices. But now we can set the range for what we're looking for. Use the sliders to move the values or enter the number in the fields themselves. So let's set a maximum price of 125,000 and a minimum of 50,000. Now only census tracts that have home sale prices within the range are shown in purple. I can select each tract to see the values. I can stop here with just one data layer and print out a map showing me all the places with affordable home prices or even download a list of all the places in any state but we will continue. Let's add the second data layer. This time, we will look for an area with a higher concentration of people within our age group. I'll go to Demographics, Age, and select the range of 25 to 35. The data layer is added to the legend, and once again, 100% of the range is shown. I can now set the range, so let's make sure that there are at least 15% of the population in this age group. The map will now show in purple only tracks that have met both criteria of affordable housing and concentration of age group. And again, I can select the tracks to see the values. We can also stop here to save and print a map with these two data layers, or even download all the places that met both criteria. But finally, we will add our last data layer. And this time, we want to be near a higher performing school. We'll go to Education, School Performance, and open the grade schools distance to nearest higher performing public schools for all schools. The legend again will show the full range of distance, but will lower the distance to a maximum of one mile. Now the map will only show census tracts that met all three criteria. And again, I can save this map, download a list of all the tracts in my state that match these criteria, or even create a custom region to generate a community profile report. This is a simple three-layer map analytic. Because Policy Map has thousands of data sets and with a variety of different geographies, there are plenty and many different ways to create a three-layer map yourself. Check out the quick three-layer map examples or explore on your own. Visit our support page to contact us or learn more about any features available. Thank you.